Hello, this is Mike at Game from Scratch, and welcome back to the ongoing game development for Complete Beginners tutorial series. Now, this is actually an answer. I had a question in the uh, configuration of Love Game Engine post uh, asking me how to do something specifically, and I figured I would share it as a video. So this is sort of a kind of like an optional, but this is a direct answer to a user question. Coincidentally, if you have questions, let me know. If I can answer them as a simple text blob, I will, but if I think they're deserving of a video, I will go ahead and make a video. These are completely optional for you to read unless you actually need to know more about the information being covered. So today what we're talking about is setting your application icon. Uh, for example, in any particular game, so here is IntelliJ, which I've been using for code editing. Uh, you can see up here, that is the app icon. And setting this in love is very, very easy, but probably not as uh, obvious as you think it should be. And first we're going to need an actual uh, icon to use. All you need is a graphic, a PNG, JPEG type file uh, to represent that little guy down there. And it'll be scaled down automatically. So if you don't need, if you don't have one per se, I would suggest game from scratch. So that's what I'm going to use in my particular case. I'm just going to use this guy right here. It's the standard um, icon size for an Apple iPad actually. So just go ahead, grab that guy and save that image as. And I'm gonna go ahead and save it in the, uh, the directory where my code is. So we'll go ahead and save that. So it's in the same folder as main.lua. It just has to be in that folder or below it, somewhere in the hierarchy. Just gotta make sure that uh, when you use it, you pass in all the subdirectories along with the file name if it's not in the same root directory. So I just copied that in and you'll see in IntelliJ anyways, it automatically, or it shows up very quickly right there. So it's just a simple PNG file. Open that up, you can see there it is. Now that we've got it, in your conf.lua file, you can simply select um, t.window.icon equals, and then you just pass in that file name. So obviously you would use whatever the name of your icon is, like so. Now if we go ahead and run this code, we get an error. Uh, Apple-icon57, oh, I'm dyslexic. I actually am. Uh, so that was a bit of a stupid move. Okay, so now that that is resolved, let's go ahead and run it. And now you will see the icon is set up here. And that's it. That is really all that is involved in doing this. Now, it's also possible that you might want to do it um, dynamically or programmatically. Now, you'll notice I actually have another icon in here. This is just the same graphic converted to black and white for absolutely no reason other than to show you uh, another way of loading an icon. So instead of doing it in conf.lua, we could also do it in um, our code, in main.lua. And most logically, it makes sense to do it in the, the .load call. Now remember, .load is called in the program lifecycle before your, as your game is starting up, but before the main loop. And so it's only executed once when your code is starting up. And this is a great place to do things like configuration that isn't done in conf.lua or loading files you need loaded, etc. So in this case, what we're gonna do is go ahead and load that icon programmatically. Now, if you're following along in order I'm creating this video, we're about to jump ahead, to be honest. This is something, uh, loading image files is something I'm going to cover in a lot more detail down the road. So don't worry about that too much. We're also going to look at um, something Lua related that I haven't covered in a lot of detail yet either, uh, which is the colon operator. And I will explain that down the road. So I'm just gonna give you a quick, so we're jumping ahead a bit to do this particular part. And you don't have to do this at all. What we just did in conf.lua, is enough to set the icon for 99% of people. This code is only if you want to change it after the program has started, or if for some reason you want to set it dynamically, not um, just upfront in the configuration file. So in order to do this, the first thing we need to do is actually uh, get an icon. So we're gonna create a new variable called uh, new icon, and we set it to love.graphics.newimage. And this guy creates a new image form, um, image object for us. Now the image object is something, again, I will cover shortly, uh, but we can set and pass in a parameter for that image, which is just the file name to use. So you can see icon black and white or icon bw.png, you can pass in whatever image file that's supported in here if you wished, uh, but you can see that it is part of my directory right over here. So that's all we've done. We just created a new image. So this returns an image. Uh, that we'll save under the name new icon. And then um, there's a bit of stuff going on in this next line of code that's gonna probably be a little confusing if you're just starting out. 
in the love uh, that window module, there is a method called set icon, and that's really all we need to do. We just pass in the image that we want to use as our new icon. Now, in this case, it doesn't actually take an image; it takes an image data. We can think of those as two different things. Now, one, an image is the file uh, that contains, you know, image information, a PNG, a JPEG, a GIF, whatever. Whereas image data is actually the pixels, the, the color information inside of that image. Um, thankfully, it's pretty easy to access. So we just go, so we pass in, we use new icon, and we call the method git, oops, hold on, git data, like so. And that's it. So if I go ahead and run this code now, you will see we now have a black and white icon. Now, I gotta pause very quickly to explain what I just did to you here, because this is probably ugly to you and you've never seen it before. And I will go into this in much more detail. Uh, but when you're dealing with a table, if it's an instance of a table, that means, um, think about um, a cat. A cat is a type of object, it's a type of animal. Whereas you might have Garfield, your own particular cat with its own particular traits. Well, tables work that way too. You can have a table of type cat, but you might also have an instance of the table cat that has, you know, color is orange, like detailed information specific to it. Well, in Lua, the only way to know about an instance is to pass it in. So this piece of information because actually the exact same thing as this call. Like so. Oops, I should not have put a semicolon there. Old habits. Uh, so what we've just done here is basically we called in get data, but we passed in the parameter of new icon. So now it has a copy of new icon and all of new icons specific information to new icon. So new icon is an image, but new icon has specific data inside related to that particular instance of an image. So this passes it in so that get data knows which images data to get essentially. Well, this guy right here using the colon instead of the period is shorthand for saying add a new parameter and pass myself in. So that is this line of code and this line of code are actually the exact same thing. It doesn't seem intuitive, uh, but, and it's one of those things a little bit screwed at your head around, and I'm going to do a video on this in more detail, but that is exactly what is happening here. So you could use either one of these lines, whichever one makes more sense to you, but this guy is a nice shorthand. So you use the colon operator instead of the dot operator when you're dealing with a single version of something that has its own data inside. And we'll get back to that later. Just wanted you to know when you see the colon versus the dot, what the difference there is. Okay, so that is it. That is setting an icon plus a little bit more. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. And again, if you have any particular questions about using Lua or Love, let me know and I will follow it up either in the comments or in its own video. Okay, see you later. Bye.